Good day, this is William Garvey, Editor-in-Chief of Business and Commercial Aviation Magazine. Today we're speaking with Sam Adcock, a Vice President and the General Manager of Airbus Helicopters Mississippi Assembly Facility. Sam, as you know, Columbus, Mississippi is a long way from anywhere and not known as an industrial hub. Why did you choose it as an assembly site, especially when you had a well-established base in Grand Prairie, Texas? We were looking for another alternative to uh, Grand Prairie, Texas. It's not dissatisfaction with Texas. It was more opportunity to grow and diversify. When we looked at various options, it was interesting. The labor capture pool that was identified by the local community from an economic development standpoint discovered that in the Columbus greater Golden Triangle regional area, there were more available A&P mechanics in that area than there were in all of Dallas-Fort Worth area. You were kind of in the lead there as an industrial entity. Have other companies followed you to Columbus? When we started this, uh, I guess it was in the early 2000, 2002, 2003, you uh, visit, in fact, on the first airplane visit, we uh, chartered in to Golden Triangle Regional Airport. It was nothing but cow pastures and uh, hay fields around the airport. Once we made our decision, soon thereafter, about another 3,500 to 4,000 additional industrial jobs were attracted to that very same site. So today, we have a steel plant, we have a uh, major truck engine manufacturer in PACAR that uh, has located there. There have been other aerospace companies in the form of Aurora and Stark Aerospace that have located on site. So today, they're all right at 5,000 industrial jobs located there where we are on the surrounding acreage of Golden Triangle Regional Airport in the middle of Columbus, Mississippi in Lowndes County, which is a phenomenal achievement. Right now in Columbus, what are you producing today? Will other models follow? And what's the facility's capacity? We have two models under production today in a full assembly line. And the first is the UH-72 Alpha Lakota helicopter, which is produced uh, for the United States Army. We just secured an additional order for uh, 41 aircraft uh, that was announced by the Army last week, which will take us almost, I think it's right at 400 aircraft total for the program. We are over 300 having already been produced and delivered. So that has been the initial backbone of the industrial activity that's taken place in Columbus to date. On top of that, we are now in full assembly of the AS350 single-engine light uh, turbine aircraft that is the largest, I think most popular, single-engine turbine aircraft in the entire U.S. market. It's been very successful. We've done light assembly in the United States in Columbus, Mississippi for a number of years, but now we're going to full assembly there as well. And that's just gotten underway, correct? Yes, sir. We inducted our first aircraft, I believe it was in August of last year. The first vehicle, AHI-001, as we designated it, is actually off the production line, has been through flight and test, and is now ticketed. It's a certified aircraft. Will other models follow? I mean, the Lakota is a militarized version of the EC-145. Is that likely to go into commercial production? We're constantly making that case to our leadership in the uh, Airbus Helicopters uh, celestial body. We uh, look forward to having the opportunity to convince them that Airbus Helicopters in the United States, AHI, is a great place to build more and bring more, and having it built closer to our U.S. customer base is a good idea, and we're anxious to see that opportunity come up and make the case for additional aircraft to be assembled here. Lastly, I couldn't help but notice that you are among several international aircraft manufacturers, including Embraer and Honda, Dassault Falcon Jet, that have either set up assembly lines or completion lines in the southeastern United States. What's the region's attraction? Uh, I think there are a lot of reasons. Uh, You know, it's uh, low cost of operating relative to other places. The uh, opportunity for available workforce, uh, good weather, Uh, Your energy costs typically are lower. Uh, I will say jokingly that my argument has always been when you want to locate a greenfield operation, uh, industrial operation, go where the college football is best. And at least in my perspective, that means Southeastern Conference. (laughs) 
We've been speaking with Sam Adcock, the general manager of Airbus Helicopters Mississippi Assembly Facility. This is William Garvey of Business and Commercial Aviation Magazine. Thanks for listening.